Welcome makers. Today we're back with another money lay perfect for graduation. Make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thanks for supporting our channel. The first thing we need to do is create a base for the lay. I'm using stiffened felt and a plate to start the template for my shape. We're going to create a horseshoe-like shape by tracing around the center of the plate. I want my base to be about 2 inches wide and I'm just estimating the overall size based on the recipient of the lay. I'm going to cut out my shape and cut a slit at each end so that I can feed a piece of ribbon through it that will be used to tie on the lay. Here's another base I am creating for an adult size lay. The felt shit I used before works better for a child or teenager size. For an adult lay, I am using felt that I purchased by the yard. This one is not as stiff as I would prefer, but it still works. I will link all of the supplies that I used in the description box. I'm going to staple my dollar bills to the base, leaving an inch of felt showing above the dollar bills. I'm overlapping my bills and going all the way around following my base shape. After attaching your dollar bills, we will add layers to decorate. You really can use any material and design for this part. I'm going to show you a few different ways to finish this money lay. For each style, I'm going to create the next layers with two rows of ribbon loops by cutting the pieces to size and stapling them onto the felt. You can use any type of ribbon.
My first lay I'm going to finish by gluing on a military braid. I will link our candy lay video that shows how to make the military braid. I'm gluing on the braid and then folding it over and gluing it to the back side. Here is our finished lay. I'm finishing the second lay by gluing on these white foam flowers. For our final lay, I'm going to finish it with Kahoa pieces. I'm using the design we used in one of our ribbon Kahoa lays, which we will link in the description if you want to see the detailed tutorial on making these style pieces. Once I have my first ribbon layer on my Kahoa pieces, I'm going to staple those onto the felt part of my base so that my felt and staples are hidden by the final layers that I'm gluing on. I'm gluing my second layer and will finish it with a ribbon rose. You can make your own. I purchased these ones from Etsy and I'll link them as well. Here's our finished lay. Thanks for watching.